Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing adventure mode for the time being because I don't know when the Monster DLC is coming out for the PlayStation 4. Which I'm still waiting on. But when I do get the DLC, I will be showcasing it. But apparently, the silhouettes are for adventure mode. There is a ton, and I mean a ton, of new discoveries to be found in adventure mode. And I only found a few things that were new. And I also noticed that they changed up the game a bit. Well, a lot, but... I'll explain as we go along. So, I will be doing a, probably a lot of vi videos. It's going to be a lot of me exploring different biomes again. There's going to be a lot to cover. I hope I can find everything. So I was in Spooky Woods at the t time of this recording. And someone told me to go to the farmland to get a motorcycle, which I want to thank them for that. I'm going to have to start exploring all the biomes at this point. I mean, I knew I was missing one vehicle, but now I'm missing objects, I'm missing vehicles and apparently we're missing characters apparently there's probably new characters I don't know if there's new characters yet or not but if I do find them I will show you guys the new ca characters but I noticed that the uh, mini-map has changed. It will show you the questing spots, like the gold bricks. And they don't go away, the gold bricks, once you quest it. Which makes it harder to know where you have been. Or I probably don't have it set up right, but as far as I know, they don't disappear. The question marks on my mini-map, especially in this spooky land world biome that I'm in. I'm not calling it right, I know that. Um, basically, they are qu quest for... Um, characters which I will have to show a video on that sooner or later when I go to do one the reason my characters not mo moving right now is because I was busy d doing something at the time <laughs> and I want to go to the farmland biome I decided I was going to explore sp the uh, spooky woodlands here but the farmland one had a couple of th things in it it's going to be a lot to discover so oh 
you can make a custom world. I that's what I did for now. I'm going to be doing random worlds at this point because there's a lot to look for. Plus, hopefully, the random world will land me the one vehicle I was missing <laughs> eventually. I heard that vehicle's hard to get, so I'll keep my eyes out for it. Here, I thought we were done collecting stuff, and I knew the monster DLC was coming out, but I wasn't expecting adventure the DLC added more stuff that was added and I'm I don't know what to say I'm shocked I'm surprised <laughs> I'm very excited at this point because I can walk through it, through it with you guys and show you what I find There is some new structures, and one thing that got me, and it was when I discovered it, was this new brick builds. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how many new brick builds there are. Now, looking at this mi mini map. It shows you the gold bricks. I'm thinking it that those squares mean that there's gold bricks there. And the thing that gets me is where's the markers for the chest of chest that we had? They're gone. The only reason I found sh some treasure chests is because of that little ding 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 noise that they make. But if it w wasn't for th that, hearing that on the surface, I would have not have found them. So now the game's a little bit harder, in a sense, because there's things in treasure chests you, you need to find. Here, I was checking my um, settings. And I go into the waypoint settings. And it always says it shows characters, creatures, and vehicles. And that is waypoints. So. It no longer shows chest of chest. I'm taking it. And now the question remains. Is it still chest of chest underground? And... What... How do we go about finding them? I mean, the only thing I can think of is walk in the tunnel and hope for good luck. <laughs> Before it was easy, you just... Went, picked the waypoint, dug down, there's the chest, open it up, and it gives you the items. Now it's, um, you gotta explore for the treasure chest, apparently. Which is okay by me. It makes the, it makes the game challenging, in, in a sense, which is pretty cool. Because I'm always up for a ch challenge now and then. <laughs> and I'm just looking at my mini map, looking for this vehicle that someone told me that was in with the farmland. So if I stop every so often, it's me looking at my map, or I'm busy doing something else, but... So, basically there's new vehicles that can be discovered, new objects, 
well, a lot of new objects to be discovered because I found w w one of them in this vi video. Which I'll sh show you when we get up to it. So I will be having a lot of vi videos <laughs> pretty much going up here and there when I play the game. I was uh, surprised to see some of the stuff I found. Okay, so we know that there's treasure chests in barns and little chests on top of barns. And that's what you know already. So I went inside, which the cave is blocking the chests, of course. Well, the mountain. So I'm going to clear the a area, which I don't like breaking the barns and stuff, but for a treasure chest, I have no choice. There's our first chest. But I can't get across to it, so I have to make a bridge. And yes, I'm still playing as a ghost. I think I'll play as a ghost until Monster DLC comes out. up the chest. And I got a brick build. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I was confused <laughs> there for a minute. And I said, well, that can't be right. So I left it on showing me all the brick builds because I'm curious. And sure enough, I got a guardian statue. And I was like, um, th this can't be happening. I thought I had all the brick builds. Which I d did in a sense have all the brick builds. Apparently they added more brick builds. I don't know how many more. I have no idea now. So I'm sort of left in the dark on knowing how many more brick builds there are. But I'm sure as we go through the game and keep discovering stuff, I will post what I find. So I was curious if they fix my apple tree problem, which they have not. I don't think they'll ever fix the apple tree thing ever again. I think that was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing for PC players at this point. Or whoever got hold of it. So this is the Guardian statue. And... I have no idea what it's supposed to be, what animal it's supposed to be. I mean, it's... Definitely a statue esque thing. It looks like a bird almost. So now I went to the trader. Trying to get my hearts back that I lost. So the trader, you normally you can sell items. Sell multiple items, but now they got a thing where you can sell multiple items at once instead of clicking on it one at a time, one at a time, and try and get rid of it. Now you just click it, tell, tell them how many you want to sell, and be done with it. And it's a hell lot faster, and you get more studs that way, which is a nice feature. Of course, I. Try to save one of everything. 
one of everything, and sometimes I forget and sell the whole bulk. But it's a good way to clear out your inventory and get some studs. That's what I like about it. Like the bones, I have so many bones. I have like 142 now, I only have one left. There is going to be so much exploring to do. <laughs> I know I keep going on saying about the exploring and stuff, but that's what the game is about. So, now I ran into a nether barn that I haven't been in. This one I'm a little confused about, but I like the item I got out of it. I don't know if these items were gettable before, but I got this weird sword, and I was like, what is this? i never seen this before. Well, you, you know me, I have to go look in my inventory. And it's Lloyd's sword. Well, Lloyd is from Najago. And that's his sword. But how did it round up in a normal treasure chest? So, does that mean there's other Ninjago weapons? That can be found in the treasure chest? Now? So, there's an idea to this new weaponry to be found. So, let's keep exploring. And I was trying to figure out what the uh, purple houses th things were. Found out the purple houses on a mini map are your towns now. Yeah, they're purple. <laughs> they changed the color of it and made them into little ho houses type things. It's supposed to indicate towns. Your ship is now an orange rocket. So the coding system, the color coding system that we first had, has now changed to a new picture and color coding system. So I'm used to seeing lines where treasure chests are in the water. Well, there is none. I will ex explore a cave maybe in my next video. I'm so curious on the fact that is there a treasure chest still under the ground and or are they still able to get them? Or how is this treasure chest thing going to work? Because I'm wondering if it's they're saying, okay, you gotta explore now. You had your fun. We made it easier for you from day one. Well, now we're going to give you a challenge. Ever since this new uh, patch came out, before Monster DLC came out, the patch that sets it up for the Monster DLC added a lot of content for people that don't buy the DLC that can't afford it. There's content for them to go exploring some more and get new items. <laughs> the DLC is just bonus content, which is not going to be nice to have. So here I'm just d doing quests because it says there's a gold brick. 
the thing about this is I did both of these people's quests and I know which one would have had the gold brick. And apparently, not only I didn't get a gold brick, or discover a cast character, but usually by doing the quest, the brick or line, whatever it used to be there, should disappear. It doesn't disappear, it's still there. It says, oh, it's still there, there's a gold brick. But I did the quest and everything, it didn't disappear. So here my camera angles way off. What I'm trying to do is capture a troll maker. Now, from what I read in the notes, and I haven't seen it yet, and I'm going to keep my eyes out for it, and if anybody spots it, let me know. There's supposed to be a gold troublemaker. Yes, I said it. A gold troublemaker. I don't know what he has, what it entails, what he, it's going to look like. I only seen the green ones so far, but from what the patch notes said, there's supposed to be a gold troublemaker. So I will see if I can find a gold troublemaker at this point. So here I went to a town I didn't ex fully explore it I was hoping to find something different that I didn't have just out in the open like let it do that glowing thing like saying oh you didn't discover this but that's not the case. I didn't see anything. I don't know if, how much they added. And we had to look. So eventually I'll go back to the towns. And I'm going to have to do a thorough search. And what I mean by that is I'm going to have to check every nook and cranny. So, we're ex going exploring some more. And this is probably going to be a long video because it's exploring, but that's fine. I come across the motorcycle that someone was telling him about it didn't glow but it can be discoverable so now I got a new vehicle I didn't test it out the vehicle yet I might do that in the next video I was too, too excited for discovering stuff so now when I go to bikes, it says I got a new motorcycle. So now, now all my uh, bikes are there. You can see all the old ones plus the new one. And I said to myself, what am I standing in? I do not remember this place. And I don't remember this quest here. This Apparently, the farms are run by rats, and you have to battle the rats, which is fine by me. They're easy to battle. <laughs> the 
then he's going to ask for chickens for the chicken coop. Like I said, it's a, the one quest I do not remember. I can't remember if there was a chicken coop quest or not. So basically, I'm doing a chicken cook quest. He gave me a chicken egg, which I already own. <laughs> This one wants produce for the farm. <laughs> and if you notice that the thing over there did that glowy thing, meaning I don't have it. I went into my inventory to see if I got anything new. I thought at one point the chicken egg was new, but it's not. But I climbed up here, and this thing is glowing like no tomorrow. And I was like, I, I don't have this? Was this in the game? And I was like, something's not right. And then, I'm looking at my, uh, inventory panels. Couldn't figure out where objects was, was there for a minute. Then I realized it's under discoveries. And I'm just going down, just down the list, you know. And by going down the list, Silhouettes, and I was like, whoa, that's a lot of discoveries I have to do. So, yeah, there is new discoveries for objects in this game, in adventure mode. So, there's going to be a lot of content to be played. So now I'm gonna have to take a break from one of my other games and start playing this game again because there's a lot to be discovered. And then I decided that, well, I gave her a carrot, but I might as well take all the carrots here and whatever I can get from this farmland and replenish. My inventory. And what I don't use, I can sell off for studs. So this is a great way to gather up resource material. That you need to trade in the game. And I was a little shocked that the Farmland has new stuff to it, and I'm also surprised that they added this little area here the way they did because I don't, I don't remember it, or I do remember it and they added one structure and this feels new to me. <laughs> I don't remember, but still, I have something to show for it. So I'm, I'm just making this video to show you guys all the new stuff you can get. I am very excited. I will be making a lot of videos. <laughs> I'm showing you guys where everything is as I find it and we explore it together. I couldn't remember if the corner of wheat gave anything or if it gives anything else. So I... 
went down one or two rows at one point to see um, if I get anything for these uh, things here. But I f find out towards the end there's nothing to get from them. Except for studs. Which is okay, the studs are good, we can always use the studs. The more studs, the merrier. <laughs> so, so far in my adventure, I found three new things. And I'm pretty sure I found one new quest. I could be wrong, wrong because I did not remember that little rat, rat or mouse crest that I did. And if I'm wrong, I apologize on that. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been d doing these vi videos. And most of my videos lately have been about showcases. So now I'm getting, as Amy would say, back in the game. <laughs> so yeah, here's another troll maker. He didn't have anything I really need or want, but I'll take it anyway. So I'm curious about this treasure chest thing. If you guys think the treasure chests are still there and they're hidden in the cave, let me know in the comments down below what you guys th think. I will be breaking more objects open, gathering up resources now, because of what they did with the trader, makes life easier. And hopefully during our adventures, I, I will try and discover as much of the silhouettes as I can, get them done with you guys, and show you where to find them. There's me <laughs> I know the campfire. I thought that was funny. Didn't know why the campfire was there, but I decided, well, you know, might as well use it while it's there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I highly appreciate it. The more likes I get, lets me know what type of content you want me doing. And I will be doing more of that type of content. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about LEGO Worlds, I'll be happy to answer them in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much it I want to sh show you in this video. Thus far as what I've done since yesterday. And I will probably have more videos going up 